Okay, guys, so let's gonna start. Can you see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so this this is our third session. Uh, working the reading skill. My name is Sergio Vargas, and in this case, we're going to review the topic staying alive. So the idea for this class is the same. Um, check different exercises to improve the reading ability and some other exercise about this topic. So for this first, for the warming up, we're gonna match uh, the pairs of adjectives with the uh, similar meanings, yeah? So the idea is um, choose um, one, one of these ad adjectives in, in the box to match with the similar meanings meanings in the columns yeah so this is so we have the the first like example surprising and Anthony uh Anthony Shink yeah this is the example and we have to uh, do the same for example the second delicious what do you think what is the perfect match to delicious with the words in the box. Disgusting teacher, I don't know. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but, but remember um, that the adjective must to be similar, similar to the word. Uh, okay. Maybe um. Tasty. Hmm, tasty. Tasty. Yeah. But do you think you agree? It's a good answer. It's similar. Tasty with delicious. Yes, I, I agree. Okay. Yeah, I think is a good option. Uh, continue with third, beautiful. What is a good, a good word similar to beautiful? Teacher, filthy. Filthy. Hmm. You agree with your partner or have a different option? I agree. Okay, filthy in third. And the fourth, awful. It's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting, yeah, nice. You agree, guys, or have a different option? I agree. 
Okay, continue. Unpleasant in the five. I think that is the the riff the riffling. Unpleasant. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, they're all fine. Uh, you have a different or? Fifty. Tell me. Fifty. Filled it. I can't hear you. Okay, um, continue with sex, starving. Hungry. Yeah, easy, hungry. Okay, um, here, seven is small. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's go back to check the, the chart. The next is small. Big thing. Tell me, tell me. Big. No, it's not. Uh, it's not a different to the word. It's a similar, a similar okay. meaning. Okay. So we're. Okay. You agree? Yes, teacher. Okay, so the seven is small, tiny. And number eight, brilliant. What is a good? Tiny, tiny. We only have bad, good, sad, big, mm, stunning, exhausted, and no more. So what do you think? Maybe, maybe it's stunning. Okay, stunning. You agree? Stunning for the seven? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I agree. Okay, uh, continue number nine. Frightening. What is a good answer to frightening? A good similar meaning. No, nothing. <laughs> mm, teacher, I have a question. We can use the um a word that uh, we used before. 
Tell me. The 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 that we can use a word that uh, we used before. No, <laughs> it's only one Different. use for each word okay. in, of in this chart. Okay. Okay. A is turning. Stunning. No, stunning. I think stunning is is used before, right? Oh, okay. Teacher, the the riffing, algo así. The riffing is used before. <laughs> Sorry, I can't change this. Here, right. So to improve this, we're going to check because your use, I think your use and the words in this first and maybe Okay, and uh, frying it, we're gonna and um, leave leave we without response. Um, tragic, the number ten. What do you think? What is a good answer to tragic? We only have four response, tragic, dirty, huge, and tired. What word we can use? Is the riffing, teacher? No, terrifying is used before. Is different or similar? Similar. But? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good. So for tragic path, you agree with your partner? Bath and tragic. In the case of dirty, but well, the problem is you use all words. Teacher, we used before terrifying. Yeah, I I'm sure mm. you use terrifying. But you, in in what you're gonna use, terrifying because the number ten, tragic. Uh, your partner put bad. Um, terrifying with what? With dirty, huge, tired. No, no, no. Uh, I, I checked the the answer and I think. If maybe we use uh, a bad word for the for the words in the exercise, but I okay. don't know. <laughs> okay, so we have only dirty, 
huge and tired. And in the chart, we have big, good, sad, and exhausted, I think. So, yeah, exhausted. Filed it. Uh, in what? Filed it in 11. But he is in use before that word. Okay, let's gonna check with the answers. Yeah. So the first is example surprising. And the second you say say testy, and I think is good. It is the good answer. So let's gonna check with the answer. And the third, beautiful, uh, I think the response is stunning. Right? Let's gonna check here. Yeah, the third is stunning. Mm, number four, um, beautiful. Okay, number four is. Okay, number four is awful. And the response is bad. Number five, unpleasant. The response is disgusting. And number six, starving. The response is obviously uh, hungry. Um, number seven, Small, the response obviously is. I can see. Hmm. Tiny. And uh, number eight, brilliant. And response is good. Number nine, frightening. The response is terrifying. Number 10, tragic number and the response is sad 11 you're right angela i think say and 11 yes. filthy yeah filthy. you're right yes yes um number 12 huge is big the response and number 13 tire is exhausted Okay, you got it? You understand? It's clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. This exercise say that you have to work in your vocabulary. So, let's gonna continue with the exercise. We're gonna read a text and complete it with the adjectives in the last exercise. Yeah, so in this part, we're going to read. This is the, um, the adjectives that uh, we're going to use, right? So sorry. Sorry, sorry. I I don't have the text here. So this is the text. Um someone can to um, want to start to read this part. The part A, alone at C. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, on twenty nine January, uh, one 
and when well, uh, 1882, Steve Calhoun left the Canary Island in a small judged the space. But a week later, during an awful storm, awful? Oh, I don't know what they uh, have to yeah. pronounce that. Yeah, awful. Awful storm, something probably uh, well hit the judged and made a huge hole in, in it. In the space, he had to act quickly. Steve, Steven got into an in, inflatable life rough uh, and just had time to get a sleeping bag, a first, a first aid kit, some food maps and torch from the jacket before, uh, before it sank. He also managed to get a copy of a book called Sea Survival in his space, but he couldn't rescue, rescue, rescue the radio from the jet. Okay, stop here. So I think uh, this exercise, uh, you, you ignore the, the space, yeah? And this exercise only take like a uh, reading exercise because I'm not sure is is really good um, the performance is I don't I don't know I don't remember so only gonna use this part to read so someone else wants to read the letter C and D. Me teacher. Okay, let's do it. And ignore the space, yeah? Read normal. Okay. Uh, space, uh, his food ran over a few days, so he had uh, to service with catching seabirds, fish, and flying fish. He don't run weather, which he caught in the raft. After about two months at sea, the raft was three thousand kilo, kilometers <laughs> I don't have. Yeah, uh, kilometers. from the place where the jet uh, is not sunk a uh, space but uh, unfor unfortunately they didn't see him uh, he was beginning to think that they that he may not survive he was striving exhausted Exhausted, weak, and very thin. Okay, someone else wants Fine. to read the final. Okay, you continue. Final. <laughs> okay. Uh, finally, after seven, 76 year, uh, 76 days, <laughs> some fish. Fishermen saw the sea bird and were flying around the raft and took Stephen to, to the island of Guadalupe. After his terrifying experience, he, ha he was finally in the Caribbean. Okay, thank you. So in this part, you have questions about the pronunciation, the meanings. Of some word. Okay, now it's clear. Let's continue. Okay, take this exercise like a warming up and continue with the real reading. So this reading is a little more simple. Who wants to start? with the first paragraph. Okay, you continue, Juliana. Julia. Okay, um, the four seasons. The four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. 
and all the various areas of the United States uh, ex experience drastically different weather. During these times, all portions of the country recognize the seasons. Winter in California may bring heat and winter in New York may bring blizzard, blizzards, but both periods are nevertheless winter. Okay, thank you. Someone else continue with the second. Okay. Following winter, spring begins on 20 March and ends on either 20 June on 21 June. In the United States, is date may vary slightly from year to year and in hemisphere to hemisphere. For most spring is a time of day wind when the cold and the snow on the winter of the winter are replaced with sunshine. Uh, Rational temperat, temperat, temperatures green grass and more. It is as the season weren't prevalent dormant with um Butterfly, butterflies, pardon, remers, and when we're, we come more active. Okay, thank you. And don't, don't apologize, you're here for it. Okay, someone else wants to continue with the third? Maybe. Okay, you. Um, summer summer follows spring and spans from about about uh, twenty one July to twenty two September in America. Summer is the warmest, the longest, and arguably the least of the four seasons. Students from kindergarten to college are given to or also summer months of from class and to be sure there are, there are more young uh, individuals out and about during this reason than any other. Uh, it's not uncommon to see short uh, shirts and sunglasses warm by those water, uh, soaking up uh, the summer's uh, hot sun, uh, and to stay cool, many indi individuals crank the air, the air condi conditioning, take a, a dip in a swimming pool, and or explore the ever comforting uh, ocean waves. Okay. Um, in in here in this part, you have questions about some word or meaning, or it's all right. Okay. Right. Continue. Yes, teacher. Um, continue. What is your name? Paula? You continue with yes, autumn. OK. Uh, autumn or fall, more than being a, sim a simple precursor to winter, is one of the most beautiful and exciting seasons. Spawning for 22 September to 21 December. Technically, that is no snow will begin to fall long before the later day. Is most in most in most parts of the country, leading many to classify the period and winter. In the United States, autumn, autumn 
is characteristic be falling leaf, Halloween on 31 October and Thanksgiving. During fall, traditional farmers harvest their produce and the um, aforementioned falling leaf change the gorgeous orange, red, and yellow colors. Their colors, their colors are generally associated with autumn itself in turn. Okay, you finish the text, please. In the United States, winter spans for 21 December to 20 March and is, as one would expect, the coldest of the four seasons. In the eastern, north, northern and central portions of the country. Winter snowfall can be considerable in the western and southern portion of the country. Winter snowfall in Higgling unlikely, but temper temperatures never del never delays the drop from their usual. Winter is most widely now for its snow and the Christmas holiday. But it also busts New, New Year's Eve, Eve. On December 31, in reco recognition of the start of the a new year, another special day. Ice is cutting, is, is leading ice hockey, ice hockey, and snowball feet are commonly enjoyed winter activities. Okay, thank you. So, taking account this, taking account these exercise, these exercises of reading, we're gonna respond to these questions. I hope you take atten pay attention for for the reading of your partners. So, the first question is: In America, students are given roughly two months of from school during which season? Summer, spring, autumn, and winter. Summer. Okay, one summer, you agree, don't agree? I agree. Okay, so summer, continue. Uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve take place during which season? Winter, summer, autumn, or spring? This, uh, this one is easy. Winter? Yeah, winter. I think, no? You you read the text, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, winter the second, continue. The third, autumn is and characterized by Thanksgiving, all of the above, Halloween, and falling leaves. Okay, what do you think? See. Halloween? Uh, yes. Okay, one Halloween. You agree, guys? Have a different? I think that can be the the B, all of the above. Mm -hmm. Okay, one Halloween, one all of the above. The other two partners, what do you think? I think uh, that it, mm, no, finally, events that the okay, you're divided in these in this response. So take in mind your response, and we're gonna check to to the final. Yeah, the fourth, which of four seasons is the longest? Autumn, winter, 
spring and summer. What is the longest season of the year? Um, I think that the, that is D, summer. Okay, summer. You agree, guys? Or have a different? Uh, I agree. We. We. Winter. Okay, one well, winter and two persons say D, the summer. Continue. The five. Um, which season is is talked of by many as a talk? Spring, autumn, winter, and summer. A A spring. Okay, one spring. You agree, guys? Yes, teacher, I agree. Okay, so take in mind your response, yeah? We're gonna check. Let's go back. The one. In America, students are giving roughly two months off from school during each season. It's summer, right? And the second. Christmas and New Year's Eve take place during which season? You say winter and yes, it's winter. And the third, autumn is characterized by. Ah, okay, we have different here, yeah? Three different response. You say all of the above, Halloween and falling leaves. And the response is all of the above. Yeah. Continue with forward. Which of four seasons is the longest? You say summer, I think. I don't remember. And yes, it's summer. And the last, which season is talk of by many as a talk? And you say, I don't remember, spring? Yes, spring. Yes, teacher. And the response is autumn. <laughs> I'm going to check in the text. I don't remember that, that part. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, in this part, say for most, yes. for most, yeah. spring has time of towing, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, he's right. And in the part of the orum, doesn't say nothing about that. So I think, yeah, I think it's spring. I think it's an error of, of the question, but because uh, the answer in, in the page was autumn, but I agree with you. I think it's a spring. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You have a really nice focus the reading. So with this exercise is the final the, the final of the class. You have questions or something, guys? This yeah, is the teacher. moment. Questions in general. Questions about the meaning, the pronunciation, translate of some words. No, it's clear, all clear. 
No teacher. Okay. Okay. So some corrections that I can I have noticed in the class. The first um, pronunciation. But okay, well, let's gonna check this this picture. Pronunciation in here of these words. Bad, big, disgusting, exhausted. Filthy, good, hungry, sad, stunning, tasty, terrifying, and tiny. I I I check different different words too. Different words in the text, but I don't remember in this point. Hmm. No, I don't remember. Maybe I have to check to to make the correction of the pronunciation at the moment. If you see any word that you have to question the pronunciation of the meaning, tell me because I okay these these words. Resonable temperature, resonable temperatures. Um, United States, spring, hmm, autumn, exciting, traditional farmers. Don't remember, I check different words, but okay. This word this... Kali is where 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 is that word? Technically. In yes. the in the autumn or winter? Uh, autumn. 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 Technically, I don't see that word. September to uh, 21 December. Technically, that is just. Yes. Okay, yeah, technically, uh, that is snow okay. will be to fall long before this later date. Later date? This is right. <laughs> In yes, most part, you. okay. Leading many to classify the period of winter in the U.S. autumn. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So remember, you have to check uh, the pronunciation of some words, and you remember you can read slowly. Yeah. I I don't I don't um maybe it's not the idea you read fast because in some occasions I know you and you have the good pron pronounce of some words but and the fast reading maybe it's a problem with your pronunciation because I don't rem I think in this part I said, um this word is fight but I think you don't pronounce like that. So take in mind that you can read slowly and check your pronunciations. So that's all guys for this class. So in maybe two or three minutes, I'm going to send you the attendance to your institutional email. So remember to complete it, please. And I see you in the next class, I think.
teacher um i had a i have a question Tell you me. you can send uh i don't know if the the partners need the the recording but i need the recording for my evidence in the in the report and i don't know if you can send the record in the same email with the attendance okay so the problem with this with the recording in teams is half a half a time yeah so if you want you you can search in youtube and uh, my name my complete name and in in this channel um there are gonna be all all these classes all links of these classes Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. Give me a minute, yeah. 